And hello everybody and welcome to this 2019 Premier League of Darts preview. So this will be the first match between Super Chen, Daryl Gurney, and Mighty Michael Van Gerwen, the world number one and defending Premier League champion. So we'll be setting it up to play just like it's going to be tomorrow. We're going to have best of 19 with these two players here. We'll simulate the next match right after this. And I'll be using true form in this. It's a new feature I've actually added to the simulator. I haven't even released this version yet. But essentially now the players will have their abilities adjusted based on how they're doing in real life. The uh, game will do that for me. So it's a cool new feature. It will be used in this. So we'll uh, see how it goes. So our players have taken the stage. So let's go ahead and get them out there. And we are off. So uh, MVG won the bowl, so he's going to throw first here in the first leg. And he comes out with a 59, probably not the start he wanted. Gurney's going to step up looking for some trebles, and he finds a 97. That's a little better, good cover shot. Only 85 for Michael, though. But the knight is young. They have plenty of time to settle down. No trebles for Gurney. 133 there, and a pretty good over there. Gurney definitely wants to get ahead. He does not want to be chasing. If he's chasing, he's probably going to be walking right off the stage. 140 from Michael. He's off to a good finish. Gurney's going to need at least that much to put the pressure on. 140 himself, 84 for Michael, 14 or treble, double 11, and he finds it in a one nothing lead for the world champion, and he holds his throw very nicely. Gurney's going to kick off here the second leg. Pretty good start there with a ton, but our ton's going to be enough against Mighty Mike today. You never know, tons are usually good on your throw, but against MVG, you often feel you need a little more than that. And there's quite a bit more. It's a 180 for Gurney, the first of the match. You can see their averages there. They're doing pretty nicely. We're only a leg and a half in. 98 for Michael. Gurney looks like he's in good position to hold his throw. Good use of the bull there. Wanted to get under 160. Then Gerwin nowhere near a finish. Ooh, a bounce out. Gurney under no pressure for the 131. 95 to leave himself double 18. Van Gerwen apparently not interested much in this leg. Three darts for double 18. He's double 9. Can't find it, but he'll be back. Can Van Gerwen apply the pressure? Only 85. He couldn't get under a ton. Double 9 for Gurney. Can't find it. And he finds it with the second dart. Makes it one apiece. Gurney holds throw on a bit of a scrappy leg there. Then Gerwin to throw first here in the third leg, and he kicks off with a nice maximum, his first of the match. That is what you're expecting to see, the big power scoring from the world champion. There's a reason he was top of the table. There's a reason why he's the world number one, but he will not be getting a nine darter. 83, though. He's got a nice, sizable lead here on this leg. Only 59 from Gurney, and, well, this leg is probably gone if Michael can find a triple, but he can't, so he's not on a finish. Gurney can't even reach a finish from 3-4-2. Only a ton anyway. Michael just wants one treble. How about two trebles? An 18 to leave tops. Very good. Perfect setup shot there. Gurney, not even on a finish. He at least gets to a finish. Michael may need to take out tops. This is high, straight in, use the marker well to take a 2-1 lead and to hold the throw. No breaks yet, all three legs have gone on throw. Gurney kicks off with 100. Can Michael threaten the Gurney throw? He did not in the second leg. And only a 40, not particularly menacing either. Bit of a let off there from Gurney, he couldn't find a treble himself. Only 60, can Michael punish? Yes, he can. He punishes with a maximum.
All of a sudden, the gurney throws a bit at risk. Gurney's darts are all over the place. Look at that, only 40. Michael has 20 plus whatever he gains here. Oh, no, that's a slack set of darts. Big let off there, only 43 out of the 40 from Gurney. And Gurney can't get back in the leg. Michael's still ahead against the throw. And he will be the first to a finish. Granted, it's a pretty big one of 139, but he's at least to a finish. Gurney needs a treble, he gets one. Two trebles, in fact, 136. Van Gurwen needs 139, he's not going to get it. Only 59. He's only guaranteed one daughter to double. Gurney, 106. Oh, and he missed badly. He does leave double 16, though. 80 for Michael. He finds the treble. Double 10. Double 5. No, he couldn't find it. Double 16 for Gurney, his favorite. Now double 80. Loves that one. Now double 4 the other side of the board, and he finds it to hold the throw. Very fortunate there for Super Chin. Matt Gerwin missing two darts to break. Comes back with a ton, though. You can get a feel of the first four legs, though. Michael has threatened the Gurney throw. Now Gurney is threatening the Van Gerwen throw with a ton 80 to start. Right back with a 137, though. No nine darter again. A ton for Gurney. 140 here, and Michael will be back in control which is exactly what he finds. He's on a nice finish after nine darts of 1-2-4. Gurney needs to stay straight to get to any finish. 1-6-1, not great. Will Michael go the bull route if necessary? Treble 14, yes. Double 11 for a 1-2-4. He couldn't find it, but Gurney has a big one to go. Treble 17, no, he won't find it. Back upstairs, and couldn't find that either. Double 11 for Michael, and he finds it. Second time he's taken out double 11 in this match. 3-2 in favor of the world champion. 100 for Gurney. It VG looking to threaten. He will threaten a bit there with a ton 40. Gurney needs to stay sharp here. Finds one treble, finds two trebles, 140. It's not easy because you know Michael is going to just keep putting the pressure on. You cannot really ever come back with less than a ton and expect to win the leg. Even now, he's on 161 after 9, and you don't really feel like you're safe. Michael could take out the 170. Gurney's definitely going to have to go for this. He's not going to get it. We'll use the bull here. He does. Gets down to 71. Big fish for Michael. Not going to happen. How's he going to go from here? He stayed up there. Didn't find it. 71 for Gurney. 58. 18 for Tops. And he finds it. 3-3, three, three. all six legs have gone on throw. Seventh leg, Michael's throwing first. Bad first dart, he switches to the 19s, as he always so elegantly does, to save the turn of 115. Gurney now switching. Gurney finding a pair of treble 19s. 134 for him. Here comes Michael pounding the 60. Finds 140, though. That looked like that should have been a 180, but he couldn't quite find it. 140 as well for Gurney. What can Michael do? Can he answer it? Oh, here he goes. 174. Big score there to get down to 72. Great trip to the board. Gurney will at least get to a finish, though, of 127. 72 for Michael. 20 again for double 16. Couldn't find it, though. 127 for Gurney. Looking at the treble 20. How about treble 19? How about the bull for a huge break of throw? Could not find it. Double 16 for Michael as he comes back to the board. One dart will be plenty. 4-3. Once again, all seven legs have gone on throw. What a great match we... Um, we've got a great match going so far. Um, ton for Gurney. Michael... Got a ton his first time out. He's looking to threaten the throw. Only 87. And a ton for Gurney. Michael's going to need at least two trebles here to really put pressure on. And he does, 122. Gurney's going to have to find something. Needs a treble here. He finds one. He at least gets to a finish, but Michael will almost certainly be on a better one. 
If you can find even one treble, gets 96, leaves 96. Gurney probably needs to take the 141. He's not going to do it. Does leave double eight, though. 96 for Michael. Double 18, two darts. One dart will be plenty, and there's the first break of throw. 5-3 to the world champion. And he comes right back with a ton. You can see the average there on the screen. 99.67 for MVG. 96.13 for Gurney. Pretty good stuff from both of them so far. Michael up 5-3 with one break of throw. He is throwing first. He did win the bowl backstage. So that's going to be tough for Gurney. He's going to need to break twice coming back. 140 there. And here comes Michael. If he can hold throw here... That would give him a 6-3 lead. That's going to be awfully tough to come back from. There's a bit of a let off there. 57, not a lot of pressure now on Gurney. Trouble 17, back upstairs. 57 only. Michael will really want to take this out. 57, will he go f for the bowl? Yes, for tops. Oh my goodness, what an incredible Finish for Michael Van Gerwen, a 147. Oh and then Gurney comes back with a 180. The standard of play has just gone through the roof. A 140 there for Michael. Gurney, no nine darter again. That's the third time we've gotten three, but we've yet to get four. And there's a let off from Daryl Gurney, only 60. Michael cannot capitalize, only 60 of his own. Gurney pretty much has to hold his throw here. If he loses another break, it's pretty much finished. He's not going to come back from down 7-3 with Michael throwing for 8-3. 1-5-6, he'll have six darts from here. Ah, there he finds a big treble there. 82, down to 74, so he'll get at least one dart for the leg. A maximum here would put Michael on double 12. He can't find it. 74 for Daryl. Go the 14's route. There it is. Double 16, his favorite. Double 8. And he finds it to hold throw and keep himself at least in the game. 6-4, 11th leg. Michael going first. Throwing for 7-4. 100 there. Gurney is yet to break the MVG throw. 125, a pretty good start there. If not for the stray dart, he could be in a much better position. 140 for Michael, he answers right back. So hard to break the MVG throw, you feel you almost have to throw a 12 darter, and that's not easy for anybody, especially when you're out there throwing 43. That makes it almost impossible. But Michael does not take advantage, only 57, but he is up over 100 on this leg. Oh, well, Gurney takes, takes care of all of that, gets himself down to 153. Ben Gerwin can still certainly get to a better finish than that. He may even get to a double if he can find another one of those, and he does. He's down to double 12. Gurney really needs to take out the 153. Will he start on the 57s, or will he start up top? He starts up top. Triple set 19. No, he can't find it. And he gets 93 to at least get him down to 60. Three darts for double 12. One will do for Michael. Seven for Gurney throwing. He's going to need to get some big legs very soon. He's going to need two breaks, and he hasn't even found one and only 60. And there comes the world champ with a 137. And 100 for Gurney, but he is in serious jeopardy of going down 8-4 if MVG can find another treble, and he does. 140 It is not looking good for the Northern Irishman. He's switching to 19s, not finding those either. MVG will be the first to a finish in this, le in this leg, assuming nothing goes haywire. 96, he's down to 128. Gurney's going to need the lot here. Finds 100. 128 for Michael. He's just going to sit on some 54s. Look at that, double 10. Oh my goodness, his second ton plus finish. Two 54s and a double 10. And the world champion is playing like it. And here he goes again with a 180. It's 8-4 and a 180 from the world champion. He is defending his throw. 41 for Gurney. It looks like he's probably going to go 9-4. Are we going to see a 9-darter here? Oh my goodness. The world champion has just fired in six perfect darts. Gurney back on 460. Is really no threat in this leg. 
Michael needs 141 for the nine. Here we go. There's one. Oh, no, he missed treble 19. Oh, that would have been exciting. But he is on 52 after nine. A nice little 20. Double 16 for the 11. Double 8 for the 12. And he finds it for a 12 darter on his own throw, taking his opponent completely out of the game. 9 to 4 for the world champion. It doesn't look like there's any way back for the Northern Irishman, especially only throwing 55. He's just not scoring enough. As you can see there, MVG is really putting it on there with the 104 average. Gurney not playing bad at 97, but unfortunately for him, 97 is not going to do it today. Not in the form that the world champion is in. Another maximum. He is absolutely on fire. Now the average over 105. Gurney cannot find a treble again. We are most likely going to see some match darts coming up. Van Gerwen on a finish at 156 of Van Barneveld. 140 for Gurney, six darts from 156 for Michael for the match. Will he leave double eight? No, he's going to leave 56. Gurney, 188. Can he at least apply some pressure? Gets down to 60. Two match darts coming for MVG. He's going to go for tops. He misses high. Oh, he missed inside. Gurney has another breath of life if he can find tops, and he does to hold the throw. But he still has to win five on five more on the spin, I should say. 96 there for Michael. Michael's got to feel a ton each time and he's going to win the match. Probably win the leg. Well, maybe not. Not if Gurney's going to start firing in numbers like that. Michael's got time, though. 140, of course, is a good score when you're on throw. Well, I was going to say, when your opponent's threatening a 9 dart, or maybe not, all right, Michael will start here on the 19s, try to leave himself 170 or 132, and he will leave 206 instead. Gurney's got a chance to break here if he can find two trebles. He finds one treble. He's at least at a decent finish. What can MVG find? He finds nothing. Gurney, 128. Start on the 18s. Now treble 20. Bullseye for the break. And he misses badly. 149 for Van Gerwen. He's taken out a, a 147. 38 for Gurney. Will he split? He will go for... Oh my goodness, what a disastrous dart that was. He missed everything. 56 for Michael. He's going to go double 18 this time. And that will be the match on double 18 for the world champion, mighty Michael Van Gerwen in a 10-5 win with a 103 average, 6 180s, 10 out of 18 on the doubles, a brilliant, brilliant 147 checkout. That was absolutely amazing. Treble 19, bull, tops. You don't see that every day, except when he's going for a nine daughter. That's pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, great game there by the world champion. Um, hard luck there for... Uh, Dale Gurney played pretty well, just under a 97 average, 5 180s, nothing wrong with that. 5 out of 15 on the finish, and a little slack, but not too bad. But at the end of the day, he just got outplayed. And so uh, it will be the world champion and the defending Premier League champion in the final to play against the winner of James Wade versus Rob Cross. So if you liked this, uh, please do remember to like and subscribe and tune in to the next part because we will be simulating the last two matches of the Premier League. So until next time, everyone, have a great day and we will see you in the next part.